Another type of function is called an exponential function. Now an exponential function is denoted when in the equation you have some number raised to the x power. So an exponential function means that there is an x in the exponent. Now the general shape of an exponential function would look like this. I could have a function that starts small, 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 and then gets large very quickly. This would be a positive exponential function. Or another example, the shape would look like this. Y values get closer and closer to zero. They start large and then get closer and closer to zero. This would be a negative exponential function. Now if I couldn't recognize an equation from an exponential function from the equation, um, I could recognize it from a table of values. Now the table of values, we are going to look at the ratio. And don't forget the ratio is just a fraction. And the ratio is constant if we have an exponential function. So let's start at this one down here. So notice my x values increase at a constant rate by 1. And if I look at my y values, again, this is called my range. And x is my domain. If I find the ratio, here I have 2 divided by 1, which is 2. 4 divided by 2, which is 2. 8 divided by 4, which is 2. 16 divided by 8, which is 2. So this is 4 over 2, 8 over 4, 16 over 8. Here my ratio, so again I'm taking second divided by first, is constant, so I have an exponential function. If you look at the one above, we just have larger numbers, but we can still check to see this next exponential function the same way, by taking the ratio. So this one would be 180 over 120, which reduces to 1.5. 270 over 180 simplifies to 1.5, and you're welcome to check this on your calculator. Again, if we continue through this, each ratio is constant at 1.5. Excuse my notation here. So I know I have an exp exponential function. Again, key being ratio. We're talking about second divided by first, 2 divided by 1, 4 divided by 2, 8 divided by 4, 16 divided by 8, and it would continue on and on, and the ratio would stay constant. Now, an exponential function can be increase, e increasing or decreasing. When it's increasing, the y values are getting, well, are increasing, getting larger and larger. So an example would be a function that looks like this. Y values start really small and then they get quick or get large very quickly. Decreasing, the Y values are getting smaller and smaller. So I could start with a function like this. So this is an example of an increasing, and the right one is an example of a decreasing function. Now an exponential function, there is no minimum or maximum. Notice it goes on forever to positive infinity and negative infinity. There is no constant rate of change, and the graph has no symmetry.